My name is Nick Ryan, and I'm a re-entry graduate student here at SIU um, in the history department. I started here about 30 years ago uh, on, a, on a graduate degree and never finished it. Uh, and 30 years later, here I am. And over those 30 years, uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't uh, taken really good care of myself, and I let myself kind of go, and, and uh, my life kind of went to hell in a handbasket. And I said, what are you going to do? And I said, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll look at finishing those degrees and try to go back to college and, and uh, reinvent myself at 50 years old. So I came back to SIU, and uh, uh, one of the first things that happened to me, I was over 120 pounds heavier, and um, I was diabetic, and I still am. But uh, I had a really bad attack one day. And I went uh, to a little place here in the student center behind me called the Student Health Assessment Center, the SHAC. And uh, the nurse there uh, was quite concerned, set me down. My blood pressure was real high. She took my blood sugar. It was through the roof. And she said, you have got to get over to our health service immediately. And she called a car for me, uh, a transport car, got me over there, got me into the system. And that literally changed my life. The health service here at SIU is one of the absolute best in the country, and I want to make it explicitly clear that um, the effort we're involved in now to save the shack uh, is in no way a reflection of the great service that the, the people there provide. But what the shack did was it enabled me to um, find out about all the great services. So when I found out that this was going to close here in the student center, I became quite concerned and I started talking with other students. And I discovered that there were literally scores, if not hundreds of students, um, and keep in mind we're starting this project here in the summer of uh, 2010, that there were lots and lots of people that utilized this service uh, to much greater capacity than I did. Um, you know, with my diabetes is one thing, but I discovered like not only healthy people that were there because they, you know, they had broken their nose coming up the stairs or falling down the escalators and the nurse was able to help them until an ambulance could even arrive. People that are, um, you know, in, disabled in wheelchairs and things use it for a variety of concerns. But that's not the point. The point is, and what we're going to try to show you in this video, is that we want SIU to keep its commitment to expanding its health services, and particularly this shack here in the student center. And as an organization, which has developed kind of out of this out of this um, cause, we want to show proactively that if we work together with the administration, we can make this a model, a model health outreach program for the entire United States of America. So, as you watch this video, keep in mind that the administration, we feel, has not only a commitment, perhaps a moral one, but the resources somewhere within the vast millions of dollars here to be able to fund, and we have been told somewhere in the neighborhood of sixty dollars to $100,000 a year for this facility. And the sign said, long-haired, freaky people need not apply. 